Hi, my name is Rohan Ghat Pandey and I'm from College of Engineering, Pune. I am currently studying in third year Mechanical Engineering. Today, I am going to present a research paper titled The Determination of Stability Derivatives from Flight Data Using a Neutron Raphson Minimization Technique. This paper was written by Kenneth P. Ilk and Lawrence W. Taylor Jr. of Flight Research Center of NASA, situated in Edwards, California. Introduction A stability derivative measures how much change occurs in a force or moment acting on the vehicle when there is a small change in the flight condition parameter such as angle of attack, airspeed, altitude, etc. Such parameters are called as states. A control derivative measures how much change occurs in a force or moment acting on the vehicle when there is a small change in the deflection of a control surface such as the ailerons, the elevator and the rudder. Air vehicles use a coordinate system of access to help name important parameters used in the analysis of stability. All the axes run through the center of gravity called as the CG. X-axis runs from back to front along the body and is called as the roll axis. The Y-axis runs left to right along the wing and is called as the pitch axis. The Z axis runs from top to bottom and is called as the yaw axis. The angle of attack is the angle made by the nose with the direction of oncoming air. For a defined trim flight condition, changes and oscillations occur in the parameters, also called as the states. The equations of motion are used to analyze these changes and oscillations. Stability and control derivatives are used to simplify these equations of motion so that the stability of the vehicle can be more easily analyzed. Method to obtain stability and control derivatives There are five methods which can be used to obtain the stability and control derivatives. They are simplified equations, time vector algebra, analog matching, regression and the least squares method. And the methods to minimize the errors are as follows, gradient method and the modified newton raphson method. Among the methods available to solve this problem, the simplified equations, time vector, and analog matching and regression methods have been used most extensively. The simplified equations and time vector methods are often severely limited because the set of aerodynamic coefficients obtainable is incomplete and the types of applicable responses are restricted. The analog matching method is also limited because estimates resulting from it vary with the skill and technique of the operator. The accuracy of the coefficients estimated by the regression methods is unreliable if measurement noise on the response is excessive or maneuvers are poorly conditioned. Of most interest is the possibility of obtaining a linear model which results in a computed response that best fits the measured data. Analog matching imitates this approach but the estimates reflect the operator's judgment. Regression methods minimize the integral squared error in fitting the measured data to a linear model of the system point by point in an algebraic sense, ignoring the time sequential nature of the aircraft and model responses. The standard gradient technique can be used for this minimization but this technique has been found to converge much too slowly. Consequently, a modified form of the newton raphson technique was investigated as a means of obtaining more rapid convergence. This method could also be viewed as an application of quasi-linealization. This report compares the results obtained by using the modified newton raphson technique of minimization with the results obtained from simplified equations, analog matching and regression methods for a representative lateral directional flight maneuver. The proposed method is applied to obtain stability and control derivatives. Symbol. This represents the various quantities and their symbols used in the equations and the process of analysis. The states in the lateral directional mode are beta, slight slip, r, yaw rate and p, roll rate, with moments the n as the yaw moment, l as the roll moment 
and force y sideways. Dutch roll is a type of aircraft motion consisting of an out of phase combination of tail wagging, yaw and rocking from side to side roll. Once the mathematical model for the system has been selected, two items remain to be specified to identify the system. The cost functional to be minimized and an algorithm to minimize the cost functional. In some of the methods analyzed, these items are not readily specified. In analog matching, the cost functional is obscure in the what constitutes a good fit is from primarily a function of the judgment of the operator. The operator minimizes his subjective cost functional by adjusting potentiometers until, in his opinion, the fit is attained. This procedure can be time consuming and the results vary greatly from operator to operator. The regression methods discussed alleviate some of the problems of analog matching in that a cost functional is specified and is readily minimized because the formulation is linear in the parameters to be estimated. Unfortunately, the resulting fit to the measured data is unsatisfactory. Ultimately, a linear model is desired with a computed response that best fits the measured data. It has been demonstrated that the fit obtained with analog matching is superior to that obtained with other methods. This suggests that the cost functional should reflect the difference between the computed response based upon the coefficient estimates and the measured response. Therefore, more satisfactory results would be expected if the problem were posed as one of the minimizing of a quadratic cost functional of this difference. Please refer to the above symbols. Comparison of X-15 test flight time histories measured in flight and computed by various methods. These graphs represent the brief time histories of an X-15 test aircraft for actual flight conditions represented by the continuous line. On the same graphs, the brief time histories of the same X-15 test aircraft for the same flight conditions have been plotted after theoretical computation. The relative error in analog matching is very less compared to other methods. Usually, stability derivatives are determined first from wind tunnel data. However, because of the unavoidable differences between the wind tunnel test and the flight conditions, the wind tunnel values should be only be used as initial estimates. Mathematical model With reference to the symbols of the physical quantities defined as above, a mathematical model has been developed. The model describes lateral direction airplane dynamics expressed as a system of linear constant coefficient differential equations as shown x dot of t is equal to a into x of t plus b into u of t where u t is defined as follows, x t is defined as follows, x dot t is the derivative of x t with respect to t and a and b are defined as follows. Minimization of the integral squared error of the difference between the computed and the measured responses is necessary. A cost function has been defined for this purpose which represents the difference between the actual aircraft response quantities and the computed aircraft response quantities. Regression methods minimize the integral squared error in fitting the measured data to the linear model of the system, ignoring the time sequential nature of the aircraft and the model responses. Y is the set of output response quantities and Z denotes the measurement of the actual aircraft response quantities. Therefore, the cost function will be a difference of the two. Problem address Given the measurements related to the state variables and their derivatives along with the control vector, we can determine certain unknown elements of the A and B matrices as defined in the previous slide. In airplane dynamics, these coefficients of the linearized equations of motion are the stability and control derivatives which result from the Taylor series expansion of the aerodynamic forces and moments. An arbitrary maneuver was selected for an X-15 research airplane at a hypersonic flight condition for which the values of Zs 
said Cap and you were known. The main objective is to minimize the difference between the actual aircraft response quantities and the model output response quantities which were represented by the cost function. One approach to determining the aerodynamic coefficients is to reduce the integral square error, that is, to reduce the cost function to zero. The techniques for the minimization of the cost function are as follows. One is the modified newton raphson method and two is the standard gradient technique. Modified newton raphson technique. The gradient method was successful only for a few unknowns but failed otherwise. Each iteration reduces the cost of fit error but in practice the reductions became almost infinitesimal. Although the fit error is reduced considerably before the airplane stalls, the corresponding values of the unknown coefficients are not determined with sufficient accuracy as the minimum is never reached. A modified newton raphson technique, an application of quasi-linearization, was used as a means of obtaining more rapid convergence. Consider a Taylor series expansion of the cost function. Simplifying and neglecting higher orders, the equation obtained is as follows. Delta CK is equal to minus delta CJ of K divided by delta CJ of K square. This is an equation of a newton raphson algorithm. The modified newton raphson technique is based only on flight data. It is an iterative method for finding the zero of the gradient of the cost function. This diagram represents the graphical representation of the newton raphson algorithm. Let us now discuss the merits and demerits of this method. The newton raphson method is much more efficient than the gradient method because it attempts to predict where the local minimum point is and to step directly to it rather than stepping in the local downhill direction. However, it is much more complex as it involves computation of the second gradient matrix. This complexity is reduced significantly by an appropriate approximation using quasi-linearization. Hence, the modified newton raphson algorithm only involves first gradients of Z and Y which were derived previously and are readily computed. This greatly improves the computational time and the approximation improves as the solution is reached. The difference between the actual aircraft response quantities and the model output response quantities can be considered as quasi-static. Considering this approximation in the cost function, further simplification leads to the normal and discrete equations that can be used for digital computers. The graph shows the plot comparing X-15 time histories measured in flight and computed by using coefficients obtained from flight data using the modified newton raphson method. It has been observed that the modified newton raphson method converges fast and thus it reduces the number of required iterations and in turn leads to a reduction of computational time. This can be seen in the graphs adjoining. Thus, it is superior to the gradient method. Comparison of all methods This report compares the results obtained by using the modified newton raphson technique of minimization with the results obtained from simplified equations, analog matching and regression methods for a lateral directional flight maneuver. This chart represents the aircraft response variables computed by using different methods along with the actually measured aircraft response variables. This also gives an idea about the relative merits and demerits of the various methods. Application to short period longitudinal mode So far, we have just focused only on the lateral vibration directional mode. This minimization technique can also be extended to short period longitudinal mode. This data was obtained by an XB-70 test aircraft. The graph shows the comparison of XB-70 longitudinal time histories measured in flight and computed by using coefficients obtained from flight data using the newton raphson method. In this case also, the modified newton raphson method converges fast and thus it reduces the number of iterations and in turn leads to reduction of computational time. 
This also means that the difference between the actual and computed values of the aircraft response variables is very very less. The mathematical model used for the representation is as follows. Result. Although in some cases the complexity of the equation increases considerably, the accuracy of this method is very high. The newton epson method is superior to all the methods. The method reduces the number of iterations and the computer computation time drastically. The newton raphson technique was applied to aircrafts of widely varied geometry and flight reasons to demonstrate the versatility of the method. A light general aviation airplane, a large supersonic airplane and a lifting body vehicle were selected in addition to the X-15 test flight to represent the extremes of the modern aircrafts. The method proved to be satisfactory for each of the maneuvers analyzed and for two maneuvers made at the same flight conditions. The method also proved to be satisfactory for short period longitudinal motion of an airplane. An advantage of the method is that it is not necessary to measure all the components of the state variables and their time derivatives. This report compares the results obtained by using the modified newton raphson technique of minimization with the results obtained from simplified equations, analog matching and regression methods for a lateral direction for light maneuver. The proposed method is applied to obtain stability and control derivatives for vehicles encompassing the geometric and flight extremes of modern aircrafts. References The references for the, this paper presentation are as follows. NASA Technical Note NT D6579 Determination of Stability Derivatives from Flight Data Using a newton raphson Technique by Kenneth W. Ilf and Lawrence W. Taylor Jr., Flight Research Center, Edwards, California, and wikipedia.org for stability derivatives. Thank you.